uh, this is part one and I'm gonna use terminal for this part you can also make a encrypted file by using disk utility but I will do that next time and ignore the Facebook notification yeah so first you want to have a file ready right here oh and so if, by the way if you do not know how to get the terminal go to launchpad and terminal is right here so you want to type in zip dash e then the name of the zip file so I'm just going to call this test2 and then the file name so this is test.txt it's going to ask me for a password I'm going to put in test as a password T E S T and it uh, zipped the file and it came right here now let's say I want to open it I click on it and it's going to ask me for a password put in the password and the file comes out right here and it's as simple as that uh, see part two for the way to do it using disk utility and you can combine these the, this and part two in a new number of ways to make an impossibly secure disk or encrypted file in this part I will be using disk utility to encrypt the file so first you want to open disk utility it's in the utilities folder right here So you want to create a new image, name it anything, I'm going to say encryption. You want to change encryption to one setting, One uh, 256 bit is more secure, 128 bit is less secure, but it's faster. Um, you can change this stuff. For these purposes, it's okay just to use a read-write disk image. You can change it so the image uh, size increases as you add more items to the image. But if you want to say make, make it like a flash drive, it's perfectly okay. You can change the size, the max size of the image. So you're going to get eight, up to 8.3 gigs, even more if you do custom. I'm going to leave it as 100 uh, megabytes for now and you're gonna click you're gonna change the name of the of the uh, disk that's gonna be on the image so I'm gonna name this encrypted disk and you can change all this stuff I'm gonna leave it Mac OS X extended for now create it's going to ask you for a password. I'm going to put it put in test. It's imperative you do not make uh, leave it selected. Otherwise, it'll open automatically. Press OK. It'll create it. It's a relatively quick process. And it's created it right here. So now to add files. Wait, did I finish creating? Okay. So now here's the disk, right? I can add a file to this disk. And it's in here. And you can see the size of this file. And it is 102.4 megabytes capacity. 99.5 megabytes are available. You eject this one because you don't want people to look into it. And now you have the disk image. If you see the file size for this, it's 102 megabytes. 102 megabytes. This means that that's the max, sorry, max it can store. 
and so it appears as 102.6 megabytes. And you can add up to 102.6 megabytes and that size will not change. So I'm going to close this out. Now let's say I want to retrieve the file that's in here. I click it. And it's going to ask me for the password. Put in the password. And the image or the disk pops up right here. And if you look in here, the file is still there and tap. And that's it. I'll leave any questions and comments below and thanks for watching.